All right, show one, show one. Call Hunga Yinga, Yahweh Basim Yahushai Basim Rakakadash. All praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. In the name of His Son, our Lord and Savior Yahushai, who the Word innately and stupidly called Jesus Christ in the name of the Spirit, the Rakakadash. I'd like to give a double honor to my elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, tell me His truth and double citation, tell you, Akim, you men that are prophesying and named throughout the four winds of this earth. Pussing is true with all righteousness and sincerity, shall I want to you, brothers. And to the aqua, the feast sisters that are listening and learning and following the men of the Lord to you, I say, shall I want. Coming back at you with another quick lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shion Shion, Lord willing, to edify and to feed the lands of Yahweh, Shion Shion, Lord willing. And the agenda is being set up, man, okay? All right, and no matter what happened, all right, because we all know about this, you know, what this, excuse me. Well, this guy, Noah Green, you know, he did, all right, which is a Jake, all right, all right, what he did, he, uh, you know, killed the, uh, a cap, you know, barred the, uh, capital and, you know, uh, capital and tried to get in, and he ended up killing an officer before he was killed, all right, so, you know, that happened, that incident happened last Friday on, uh, April the 2nd, okay, but, we, but the agenda is being set, man, okay? And, you know, no matter what this agenda was, no matter if it was a false flag or not, all right, whatever the case may be, but we all know what agenda is being set, all right? And it's really, the agenda is trying to say, you know, that our so-called, you know, black identity extremists, and, you know, Esau, because Esau has been saying the whole time, that, you know, there's so-called black identity extremist groups out there that's, you know, plotting to do things, okay? And mainly, mainly this is coming out of the Hebrew Israelites, okay? That's preaching is true, okay? So, we all know what this agenda is about, okay? But let's read a little bit. I'm going to touch on a little bit of this article. I'm not going to read the whole thing. And that's the Jake right there. But I want to touch on something in this article that I saw, okay? Let's see. Uh, let me start. Mm. I'm going to start here. All right. I'm going to read a little bit. Else. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Okay. Let's read this. And, let's, and I'm going to put out some precepts and low this Let's be edifying. Okay. It says, New York Times confirmed with two law enforcement officers that the Facebook page was Indeed, Greens, in one post, Noah referred to himself as Noah X. Another post was of his Nation of Islam certificate, uh, certificate of com completion for Savior Day Give 2021. The, cert the certificate was presented to Noah X in Fort Norfolk. Fort Virginia for his gift as $1,085. Nation of Islam has been classified as a designated hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center due to what the SPLC calls the deeply racist, anti Semitic, and anti alphabet rhetoric of its leaders. Okay, so, you know. This guy was a part of the, the NOI, okay? And what you think they're trying to, and right, and when things go down, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to try to label, you know, the Hebrew Israelites as being a part of, and they're already trying to label us, you know, as a hate group, as a terrorist group, all right, for preaching this word and for, you know, the prophesying the downfall of Esau's kingdom, all right? Who mainly does this, all right, you know? You know, the uh, well, anti, I don't know what the anti Semitic is, all right, because there's no such thing as anti Semitic, okay, there was nobody in the Bible named Sim, all right, but that's for another lesson, all right, who's and you know, who's and who's mainly against the agenda, all right, of this world, he's, I mean, not he's all the Hebrew Israelites, we're preaching the downfall of Babylon on the great, but they're gonna try to label us in with this group, all right. Vocab Malone is trying to, you know, classify us in this group, all right, being a hate group and a, a terrorist group, all right, so hey, the agenda is being set, okay, so the agenda 
is being set, man. All right. Let's see anything else in here. I want to read. Um, let's see. It says, I have, I'm going to read what this, this dude says. It says, I haven't had much to lean on the past few months. I've been faced with fear, hunger, hunger, loss of wealth, and diminution of fruit. My faith is one of the, the only things that has been able to carry me through these times. And my faith is centered on the belief of the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan as well he say Jesus the Messiah and there's no there was no, the Messiah is not Jesus okay the name of the Lord Yahweh is Yahweh Shai okay so this guy <laughs> this guy's clearly bugged out of his mind man okay but you know they're gonna try to you know I'm not gonna read all this but you know they're gonna try to you know label us with this all right and they're gonna use incidents just like this to try to put us in with guys like these okay so the agenda is being set man all right so without further ado let's get some scriptures i ain't been intending this being long all right <clears throat> because hey the agenda the setup is coming man okay this is uh psalm 64 and verse 2 it says hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows even better words. Okay? These devils don't do nothing but lie, man. Alright? So, hey. You know. They're, they're trying to prove that, hey. You know. That there's a so And, you know, they try to label us. You know, who they call the so-called black Hebrew Israelites. Alright? As a hate group. Which were not black, by the way. You know. And like that. And there was a video we uh did a lesson on. I think it was about a few couple of months ago i think it was a couple of months or three months ago all right so i think it was back in february i believe where uh you know many brothers had done lessons on that where you know they said the so-called black hebrew israelites were becoming more militant okay all right though although they didn't you know put them in with this you know with hebrew Israelite, but you know they're going to use this to try to say oh you know he probably could have been all right you know Esau is just getting sloppy, man, with his work, okay? Basically, plain and simple, he's just getting sloppy, okay? It's not working anymore. The lies and the, the witchcraft is not working anymore for him. So what he's going to do, he's going to try to create, <laughs> you know, he's already got Naphtha with that uh, that wicked nigga, uh, Grandmaster J, whatever he calls himself, from the NA, with the NFAC, the No Fucking Around Coalition, Okay, they're going to try to group us in with them. All right. So because he mentions the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, but he's going off. All right? You know, he just be spilling some madness. And, and that guy there, like like we tell you, man, right, that Grandmaster J guy, he's nothing but a fucking agent, man. All right. He's nothing but an agent. He's going to lead a lot of you Israelites to your destruction, man. Okay. So, hey, you following, you know, these these groups okay hey all these groups are doing is leading you nothing to your destruction man okay period point blank okay the men of great millstones starting with the elders and the apostles and the brothers on down and the brothers that teach the light wide doctrine of great millstone we're telling you we're warning you to stay away from groups like this all right don't take up the sword okay we tell you don't take up no guns and no weapons to try to, you know, avenge yourself. Like it says in uh, Romans uh, 12 chapter and the 19th verse. It says, well, you know what, let's just get it. Since I mentioned it. And <laughs> hey, that was the spirit. Okay. Romans 12 and 19. Because we don't tell our people to go out there and to do some shit like that, man. This is Romans 12 and 19. It says, dearly beloved. The love is talking about the elect. Avenge not yourselves. Rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, said the Lord Yahweh Shion Shai. The Lord Yahweh Shion Shai said he's going to repay, man. Okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, let me see. Should have started up. 
I'm gonna read verse 17 18, man. Okay, I should start it up. It's knocking. Re recompense to recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as we lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. All right, because hey, we supposed to live peaceably with all men. We spoke like it says in um Matthew. You know what? Let's get it. That's another. That's the spirit, man. Hey, that's the spirit. Okay, what well, it says in Matthew ten, and I believe it's no, actually Matthew ten sixteen. It says, "Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves." It says, "Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves." So that's what we're supposed to be: be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Be circumspect. All right, like it says in uh, Ephesians five and fifteen: "Be ye circumspect." All right, not as fools, but as wise. All right, okay. And we're supposed to be harmless as dove, okay? So we're not supposed to recompense evil the evil, okay? And that's a actually that's another one. Uh, let's see. I think it's Proverbs. Hold on, there's another scripture I just thought of. Um, yeah, right here, Proverbs twenty and twenty two. It says, "Say not thou, I will recompense evil." But wait on the Lord, Yahweh, and he shall save thee. All right, so here, this is what we're waiting on. We're not going to go out there and do something carnally and something stupid. We're going to wait on the Lord, Yahweh, and he Let's read this again. Proverbs 20 and 22. Say not thou, I will recompense evil. But wait on the Lord, Yahweh, and he shall save thee. So the, we're waiting on the Lord, Yahweh, and he to save us, man. We're not going to go out and do some stupid shit and try to take matters into our own hands, okay? All right? We're not going to be like these wicked two-third Israelites, man. All right? They're going to do that. But hey, the elect, we're not going to do that. Okay? Let's go back. Go back to six, Psalm 64 and verse... Well, let's go. Uh, I'm going to read verse 3 again. Who wait that... Actually, I'm going to start verse 2 again. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. And that's what we're doing. We're asking the Lord, how about Shin Shai, to hide us from the secret counsel of the wicked. Okay, let's go to this word, secret counsel. Let's go to my blue letter Bible. All right. Let it load up. One moment. Bear with me. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. Let's go to Psalm 64 and verse 2. See what this word secret counsel. All right. All right. Secret counsel. Strong's H, 5475. Sold. Sold. All right. For that word. Counsel, counsel, assembly. All right, uh, let's see, assembly company, um, let's see what it says down here, <clears throat> implication, intimate, intimate, intimacy, consolation, a secret, let's see what this word, what word means, okay. <clears throat> intimacy intimacy uh let's see intimacy uh mm, no nah. let's talk about something else let's see let's see what the root word says all right let's see to found, fix, establish. All right, basically a secret council, man. All right, the wicked council of the wicked, man. All right, because they're secretly trying to come against the elect. All right, come against. All right, the men of the Lord. All right, so that's what it's basically mean. Okay. All right. Let's go back. All right, let's read this again. Psalm 64 and verse 2. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. All right, that's their secret counsels that they're coming up to try to come up against the men of the Lord. Basically, that's what that word means. All right, 
from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity who wet their tongues like a sword and bent their bows to shoot their arrows even better worse that they may shoot in secret at the perfect suddenly do they do they shoot at him and fear not they encourage themselves in the evil matter they commune of laying snares privately they say who shall see them okay so hey these devils thinking that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is not paying attention to what they're doing. But hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai sees everything, man. Alright? And you know what? Gotta get it. Another scripture. Isaiah 29 and verse 15, I believe. Yes. Isaiah 29 verse 15 reads, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And their works are in the dark. And they say, who shall somebody like who seeth us and who knoweth us? Alright. So hey, the Lord Yahweh the Lord Yahweh seeing how shy, seeing you devils and what y'all asses are trying to do, man. And hey, the Lord Yahweh seeing how shy is gonna look after his elect. Period point blank. Okay? The Lord Yahweh seeing how shy is with his elect, man. So hey, you're not gonna do anything. You know what? <laughs> Gotta get it. Another good goodie. Alright, this is Isaiah 54 and verse 17 and reads, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahweh Shai, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord Yahweh Shai. Let's see what that word says in the NLT. Okay. Isaiah 54 17. Let's see what that says in the NLT. <clears throat> NLT reads Isaiah 54 and 17. The NLT reads, But in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. That's right, man. Hey. No matter the lies that they try to come up with, because they're going to try to persecute us, man. We're going to be persecuted for this word, okay? That's what you got to understand. We're going to be persecuted for this word, all right? Let's read this. Let's read it again, all right? You got to read that again. But in that day, it's like, but in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Cause hey, the Lord Yahweh is gonna give us the words to say, and I'm gonna get that scripture, man. Okay, these benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Who's the servants of the Lord? The elect, man. Their vindication will come from me. All right, I, the Lord Yahweh Shai, has spoken. And that's right. That's what this word vindication means. Vindication. <clears throat> Look at this word vindication. All right. Vindication. All right. Vindication. Vindication. The action of clearing someone of blame or suspicious. So, hey, no matter what these devils going to try to say, they're going to try to say we're a terrorist group. They're going to try to label us all right. You know, a hate group. They're already doing that. They're going to accuse us of, you know, inciting riots and all this shit. When everything goes down, everything going to be blamed on us, man. The men of the Lord. But like, like it reads right here. The action of clearing someone of blame or suspicion. We're going to be found blameless, man. Hey, we're going to be found blameless in that day, man. You devils are going to lose. And you're going to lose badly. Okay? Uh, let's see. Proof that someone or something is right, reasonable, or justified. We're going to be proven right. We're going to be reasonable. And we're going to be justified, man. Okay? In the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shin Yahweh Shai, man. That's beautiful. All right? So, hey, we ain't worried about nothing. Okay? Let's go back. All right? Uh, yeah, let me read this again, man, because this is beautiful. All right. Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that thou something like that shall rise up, rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. We're going to be put to silence, man. 
This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahabashim Yahshua, and the righteousness is of me, said the Lord Yahabashim Yahshua. Hey, we're going to be persecuted for the Lord Yahabashim Yahshua's sake. And it says that, let's see, I think it's Matthew 5 and verse, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, Matthew 5 and 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for their kingdom is. For theirs, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So, hey, we're going to be persecuted for righteousness sake. Why? Because we're against the world. We're against everything that this damn world has to offer, man. We're against the, you know, the alphabet community. We're against wickedness. All right. The righteousness is against wickedness. All right. We're against this wicked society. The righteous are. All right, but the hey, but two thirds of our people they're for this wicked agenda that's being pushed. You know, the agenda of Satan. We're not. All right, verse eleven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and say and shall say all manners of evil against you falsely for my sake. And hey, we're gonna be persecuted, man. Okay, and we are. The persecution is coming. Okay. And this is what is all building up to. That's why that happened on April the second, which was last Friday, man. Because they're trying to build. Because these wicked ass devils, these Edomites, they're trying to build a case against the Israelites. All right. Although they're saying, you know, he's part of the NOI. But hey, what they're trying to do? They're trying to label us with being a part of, you know, Islamic terrorism, which is absolutely false, man. All the men of the Lord do, we preach the word. All right, we go out on highways and byways. We do these sit-down lessons. We preach this word. We read the Bible, man. We're not harming anyone, okay? And like the Bible said, and like I just read in uh, Matthew 10 and verse uh, 16, we're supposed to be wise and serpents and harmless as dove. All right, Romans 12 and 19. We're not going to avenge ourselves. We're going to wait on the Lord, all right? The Lord, he had about Shia Shai said, vengeance is mine. He said he will repay, all right? And I got another one in my mind, too. Got another one. Just that's the spirit. All right. Let me read this. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So the prophets of old were persecuted. All right. The prophets were put to death, man, for preaching this word because hey, they were you know they were preaching hard, man. Okay. Especially Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. They tried to kill Yahweh Shai. All right, and they had Yahusha crucified, man. Okay, had him to be put to death because he was, <laughs> man, he was cursing out Jakes. He was cursing out these Jakes, man, and calling these wicked ass scribes and Pharisees and the Sadducees out. Okay, although most of them, when you know, most of them weren't wicked, but the majority of the, you know, the scribes and the Pharisees were. And he was cursing them out, calling them out for their wickedness. And hey, them wicked ass Israelites, they didn't like it. All right, and hey, guess what? Them same men that hey, Yahweh shot cussed out, they're back in their lot today, man, doing the same old shit. All right, and you might know them by the groups that they in. All right, they're back in reincarnation right now, and in those and them wicked groups, and you know the wicked groups I'm talking about. I ain't got to say it. All right, so hey, <laughs> and you know what? And in the scripture in mind, this is Zephaniah, because, hey, what are we going to do? We're going to wait up on the Lord. Okay? The elect is going to wait on the Lord. We're not going to take guns and take up weapons or anything. This is Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, Yahweh, and Shai, unto the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. And that time is coming, man. All right, World War Three is ramping up, okay? To pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Whose jealousy? Yahweh Shinyal Shai's jealousy, okay? All right, so we're going to wait upon the Lord Yahweh Shinyal Shai, okay? Uh, there's another one. Oh, that's one in Matthew, another one in Matthew, Matthew 10 and... Because, hey, the persecution is coming, man. Okay? Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to start at verse 17. 
Matthew 10, 17. I really didn't have these scriptures to read, man. But hey, that's the spirit. All right. <laughs> this is Matthew chapter 10, verse 17. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And that's coming. Okay. We're going to be persecuted for righteousness sake, man. We're going to be delivered up to the courts. We're going to be, hey, we're going to be persecuted for righteousness sake, man. Verse 18, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it is for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. So the Lord Yahweh is going to be with his men. Okay? The persecution is coming. Okay? But we're not going to worry about it. Because let's read this again. Matthew 10 and verse 19 again. But when ye, they de, but when they deliver you up. Alright? When they deliver us up to these courts. And these uh, these governors. And alright? These, you know, these mayors or whatever. Alright? Uh, it says... Take no thought how or what ye shall speak. We're not going to worry about what we're going to say. Because the word, because the Lord how about she, she is going to give us the words to speak in that hour, man. So, hey, we're not worried about it. Because like it says right here. For it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. Okay? For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father, Yahweh, which is in, which speaketh in you. See? So, hey. We're not going to worry about it, man. Family members going to turn on us, man, when the heat comes. And it tells you right here. Let's read it. And brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the child, sh and, the son, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. You're going to have family members that are going to turn on you. You thought that you were good with and everything. Your family members going to turn on you. Okay? Verse uh, 22. And ye shall be hate, hated of all men for my sake, for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. So if we endure to the end, we're going to be saved. No matter what. No matter if it means being put to death, man. Okay? We're going to be saved. We endure, we're going to be saved. Alright? Because, hey, these devils are coming. Alright? Let's see. And we're not ignorant to Satan's devices, man. All right. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. Unless Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of Esau's devices, man. We know what's coming down the pipeline. Okay. And it's getting close. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and the new th and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So the Lord Yahweh Shai is telling us of what's to come before they happen, man. Okay? So we're not ignorant, all right? We're not, you know, sleep. We're not, you know, hey, we're woke. Okay? We're aware. Let's get this. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a voice. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come the salvation and strength and kingdom of our power, and the power of his Mashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And that's what Esau is trying to do. He's trying to accuse us before our power. That's why he's sending up these witchcrafts and these enchantments. All right. To try to say that, you know, we're wicked. So his ass can stay in power. But it's not working, man. All right. These enchantments are not going to work. It's going to fail miserably. Esau's going to lose. Okay? Alright? Verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. The elect doesn't love their lives unto the death, man. Alright? Some of the elect are going to be martyrs. are going to be put to death. Some of the men of the Lord are going to be put to death for the Lord Yahweh Shai's namesake, man. Okay? Verse 12, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Excuse me. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Esau Edom knows he has a short time to rule. That's why he's, that's why he's doing everything he possibly can 
to try to get this truth off the internet and try to get this truth off the streets. All right. You know, the council culture pretty soon, you know, they coming after the Bible. Okay. And this council culture, they coming after the Bible, man. Okay. No doubt about it. But that's okay, man. Because, hey, the famine of the word's got to come. So, hey, once this famine of the word comes, that's it. All hell is going to break loose, man, in this place. Chaos is going <laughs> it's going to be on an all-time level at this place, man. So, hey, we're not worried about what these devils got planned, okay? So, hey, like we tell Esau, bring it. Come on, with the, come on, man. What you stalling for? What you waiting on? All right? Let's see, anything else? Mm, no, that's pretty much it. That's all I had, all right? I just, you know, wanted to do this little quick lesson. So, that's pretty much it. I made my point. All right, Lord, when I praise and listen was edifying. All praises to you, how about you, y'all shy about you, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles. A great minister who taught me this truth and double side taste to all you, Akim. You men that are prophesying and named throughout the four winds of this earth, pushing this truth with all righteousness and sincerity. See with another lesson, Lord, willing. Kwam Yashiranga Shangawam and why a Baba Ball. Shangawam. The wadding.